evening all concerned i am about the seemingly large number of these solar charge controllers that i made well two three four years ago now which seem to be failing in that they're taking in moisture and you can see the moisture in there now this one did say scuffed on it and i know it was a return from a customer who sent it back because he'd scuffed the top and he said he was a bit worried that that might um, cause a breach in the heat shrink. And I just sent him another one as a matter of course. But what I thought I'd do, or at least I'm not sure that that's where the moisture is going in. I think it's going in on the ends of these sort of elliptical ends. Along there I can see, it's not very clear, but I can see a, a channel through. Here there looks like there's a large bubble, but it doesn't quite reach the end. But there's another channel through there. Now because it's not very easy to see, I thought I'd get some black inkjet refill ink and just dab it on there and see if it runs in and makes this sort of water channel easier to see. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm not sure how effectively I can dab ink into this, but... Oh, very effectively it would seem. So you can see that the ink has run right through that channel and gone inside the unit. Let's just try that again on the opposite corner which I also think has got a breach in it. Put a dab of ink in there. And yeah that's run right through what's clearly an open moisture channel. And um, fairly obvious that um, moisture can get in through those ends. Now it, I always felt that the seal between the hot glue, which is what that is, and this clear heat shrink was extremely good because after making several of these uh, units I tore one or two of them apart and it was almost as if they'd joined so successfully that they were kind of almost one piece of material and it was very difficult to tear them apart but they do seem to be breaching. I'll see if I can find the other ones which moisture has crept into and try this ink test again because that certainly seems to uh, show it. Actually what I could do is I could try that one definitely hasn't breached but this one looks like it's almost gone right up to the end. Let's dab a bit of ink on that. And yeah, you can see that um, there's a fair bit of liquid ink sitting in there on the end. And it's not run through that channel because that is still got a tiny bit of a bridge of hot glue bonded to this heat shrink. So yeah, certainly the ink test um, is a good one for checking where the moisture breach is. But yeah, that is a bit of a worry. And now with that ink sitting in there I can press this and it's fairly obvious that that ink is sitting in there liquid and also now it's run through and run, run along the edge of this PCB so it's fairly obvious that that is a path into the unit. Now I've just read someone's comment that said could it be uh, running through where the wires go through by capillary action. So that's a good point actually, let's try that. Let's dab some ink where this wire is. Hmm. It seems to have absorbed itself into the cocktail stick. That's yeah, gone down and it's gone part way down but only, I think I'm going to need some more ink. Maybe I should be using a syringe, but could probably get a fair bit of ink on there now. I think it's only gone to where the seal does tighten up. So no, I don't think it's going in. No, it doesn't appear to be going in down the wire channels. They seem to be a good tight seal. No, it's definitely going in on these ends. That's where the problem is. Anyway, 
something I've got to keep an eye on. Cheerio.